Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. For a lot of us who grew up in the 80s and 90s who never got to go to a monster truck type of thing, this is probably what you think Monster Jam is like. A bunch of demolition-causing, fire-breathing, high-flying monster trucks, but after you go now, you realize that that's not actually what it's like today, but I think it's in a good way. So now that a lot of us have kids of our own, I'm gonna show you what Monster Jam is actually like, give you some tips, and I'll show a ton of clips just in case you're watching this with your kids trying to decide if it's for you. Also, I know that there are passionate Monster Jam fans out there that make this their spectator sport of choice. I met a bunch of you guys in the merch line in Denver. You guys are awesome. Full disclosure, I've been twice, so I might get some of that Monster Jam specific terminology wrong, but this video will help you decide if it's worth those surprisingly expensive ticket prices, especially if you bring the whole fam. Let's talk some Monster Jam. First things first, Monster Jam is really loud, especially if you go to an indoor show like this one in Denver. Everyone that's been to Monster Jam will tell you that it's loud and they're not lying. Anyone who tells you it's not loud has probably lost their hearing from going so many times and chances are they're doing it wrong. I've sat on the 100 level pretty close to the dirt and also on the 200 level, which is what you're seeing on the clips in this video. I'll drop a few clips in here without modifying the sound so you can get a feel for what it's like. So if you're bringing kids who are elementary school aged or younger, you will absolutely want to bring those noise canceling earmuffs or headphones for them. Honestly, you might even want to bring some cheap earplugs or pop in some noise canceling earbuds for yourself. If you have an Apple Watch, you're going to get that loud noise notification the whole time that you're there. And our three year old had his very intense noise canceling earmuffs on and he still said that it was much louder than he would have thought. So this might be a hot take, but because of the noise, I think that Monster Jam is better for kids who are maybe three end up. They're much more likely to keep those headphones on and you're going to see a lot of terrified toddlers who just couldn't be prepared for how loud this was going to be. But Monster Jam is not just loud. For adults, I think of it as a driving competition with really talented drivers. I grew up thinking that a monster truck's job was to mindlessly crush regular cars and that's not all they do today. Maybe that's what they did back then, but I never went, so I don't know. Also, some people say that there's some WWE sports entertainment theatrics that go into Monster Jam. We had a little bit of that in Denver. I'll get into that in a second. At Monster Jam, you'll see the trucks doing jumps, donuts, literally balancing up on two wheels and doing backflips, which is pretty awesome. No matter who you are, some of this stuff really brings the kid out in you. I'm pretty sure our son expected a lot of random car crushing and jumping, but I think he enjoyed the competition aspect of Monster Jam, where a monster truck goes and everyone gives them a score on their phone. If you're not happy with the score, you really only have yourself to blame. Because of that competition aspect, our son was cheering for each of the trucks and drivers after they went. It was pretty cool. He still talks about how cool it was to see Gravedigger's driver standing on top of his monster truck with all of the other trucks circling him because he won the event in Denver. I think that was a core memory for him. If you're enjoying this video so far, please give it a like so that the YouTube algorithm will show this to more people who are thinking about going to Monster Jam. Also, if you like going to random things like this, please subscribe because I love making videos that show people what events are actually like. Let's get back to Monster Jam. Okay, so I went down a Reddit rabbit hole on this, but it seems like there are many adults who believe there is a sports entertainment aspect to Monster Jam, and I think that's okay. For some background, I grew up as a big WWE fan, so it really doesn't bother me at all. There are also a lot of people who wonder if Gravedigger wins every single event. He doesn't, but apparently he wins more of them because he's the most popular monster truck, his team has the most money, they can take the most risks, and he hugely benefits from the fan vote. I'm just now realizing that I'm referring to Gravedigger as a person, but he's Gravedigger. So for example, at our show, we had two trucks that got injured. One was pretty quick. It couldn't start. It got towed out of the arena and it came back pretty quick. That kind of stuff happened. It seemed pretty legit. Oh, and random side thing. If your kids are into large construction vehicles, they will probably see some at the event. It's maintenance, but it's something that's kind of fun for them. For the other injured truck, they said that something happened with Monster Mutt Rottweiler's transmission. So we were down a monster truck for a good portion of the show. But then, a little while later, Monster Mutt Rottweiler had to answer the bell or it would be disqualified from the rest of the event. So at the last second, it came roaring out of the back like an injured Willis Reed coming out for the Knicks or Paul Pierce 
Bruce for the Celtics after he pooped in the locker room. And of course, freshly repaired, it came out to huge applause and did an awesome run. It even won an event. A little fishy for adults, maybe. Does it matter for kids? Not really. No matter what, it adds a little bit of excitement to Monster Jam. From a three-year-old's perspective, our son was just happy that all the monster trucks are back, so it all works out. Okay, now for a few quick tips. These tickets are pretty expensive, but I do think it's worth spending a little bit more to be on the side instead of on the ends of the arena. Outside of the donuts, most of the action happens in the center on the big mound of dirt in the middle, so you want a good view of that. You can probably tell, but there are a lot of kids at Monster Jam. You can totally go kidless, but this isn't the place to go and swear up a storm with the homies. This also means that the parking lot, walking to the arena, and getting in is going to be really slow because everything just takes a little bit longer with kids. If you're seated behind the covered seats, which are usually there as an extra safety barrier, do not put your stuff on that cover because if it slides down, you can't get it until after the show. There is halftime at Monster Jam, so there is that built-in break to run to the bathroom or get some food. We ended up missing the dirt bikes that got set up during halftime, and there will probably be something like that getting set up during halftime for you too. Of course, there's merch. They literally play commercials during Monster Jam. If you want to get something, it could save you a ton of time to either go before the show or mid-show but kids might want to see the whole thing before they decide who their favorite is. Also, you could just buy the same thing on Target or Amazon and save yourself five bucks, but that goes for most things. And I really think that one of the best ways to have fun at Monster Jam, especially if you're bringing kids, is just to put yourself in their shoes. No matter how loud it is, how much ice cream is on your clothes, or how many times they had to pee, your kids are probably seeing a monster truck do its thing for the first time. It was snowing here in Denver and I had to carry our son from the back of the parking lot into the arena. I had a full thing of Dippin' Dots on my shoes within minutes of getting there. I had every reason to be in a terrible mood, but it all went away as I was watching our son's eyes light up as he was literally watching his toys go flying through the air. And for stuff like that, even though Monster Jam is really expensive, it's tough to put a price on those kinds of wow moments for your kids. If you've been on the fence about getting those Monster Jam tickets, I hope that this video helped you decide if it's for you and your family. I go to tons of random things like this, so I'll put a few more videos on the screen just in case you were thinking of checking any of those out too. Thanks so much for watching this video on Monster Jam, and I'll catch you on another video.